Hello everybody and welcome back to another The Walking Dead World Beyond reaction. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 6, Who Are You? We have exactly two minutes to meet Silas at the back door. Are you sure these are legit? Doc, or not so far. Silas is not at the back door anymore. I told Silas not to wait for us if we didn't show. To go back to the outpost until we figured things out. We just have to hope that's what he did. That's it then? Eh. He's and what? You Let shouldn't even sure be here. Know. Like, you don't have a say. What is he doing talking? Like, hello. You just jumped into this. An influx of people, a potential for conflict. Any of Why is Felix's with his shirt boots. doing that? Some ways. You want answers? These things. Stay with me. Hello. Staff Sergeant. Warren Officer Stokes. The haircut. Hope we get to catch up a little while I'm here. And I hope I don't have to arrest you. You told me that last time you saw me. Might even let you call me bitch one more time without putting you on the floor. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you again. Are they uh, are they kidding? Do they joke time. like this or see you later? Is this the type of friendship they have, or...? You're really not gonna ask me what it says? I trust you. I'm sure it says what it needs to. I'd be nervous to meet the daughters, too. She already met one, though. She's not paying any fucking attention. For dinner? Is he not gonna trust her anymore? I wouldn't. Hello. Uh, okay. I thought they were looking for Silas's truck. My smart little boy. I love you, Elton. I love you. They're gonna start a war. And she needs the fucking medicine they're giving her. If she's here for dinner. That means she won't be in her lap. I need you to do something for me. Okay, you don't get to just drop this in somebody else's lap and walk away. Like it or not, you're in it now. Mm-hmm. We need to take immediate action to protect ourselves. What kind of action? We turn in the remaining two and warn the CRM, our longtime allies, I might remind everyone, of the impending trouble their little group intends to cause. I only help the others infiltrate the facility with the council's backing. The CRM knows nothing of our involvement. We have been living with their boots on our necks for so long. You need them, though. I'm sorry, Indira. I have no choice but to propose a vote of no confidence in our chairperson. There's no way that Felix and Iris know, because if they did, then they would know that burning down the facility. If that's really what they're planning, that would destroy everything. So, you're both good. Brody tried to pull some shit, but... Uh... You can stay. At least for now. I need to get back inside the facility. They try to kill him, though. I don't think he's gonna get in that easily. Back there with the axe. Tried to cover for my husband's screw up. You were married. R. Listen, you're the one who came to me, so we either play by my rules or. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Walk away? Just Scary Felix. Ah, oh, I just back. love that. So yeah, I'm willing to walk. Felix is nothing like Nico. Ah, I love Nico. <laughs> what about Percy? He wasn't invited for the family dinner. Um, but where Delilah, is he? Uh, does that mean you tested on animals? Unfortunately, yes. And And we still do. And on humans. So unfortunate. Maybe it shouldn't have been standard. If sacrificing a few mice means saving thousands of lives, isn't that worth it? I. A few mice. Where you draw the line. In the end, it comes down to how much of your own humanity, your own soul, you're willing to sacrifice in service of the greater good. It's not just life. 
you choose to do those things. It's always a choice. To say that it's not like that, that, that is an excuse. And the one with the temper should be Hope. Or was in season one. I think my mom would have slapped me in front of everybody if I talked like that. You're supposed to be keeping me from doing stupid shit, not the other way around. Hope that they are not them. I killed one of them. What? Okay, out of the bag now. So we need to be ready. He's going dark. She, she's the going dark. Is. Oh, Jadis. Oh, Jadis warned her. <laughs> it reminds me of the hunt. <laughs> She'd be blowing up here all the time. That's why I unplug everything. This reminds me, uh, we were having lunch yesterday at my mom's house, just sitting down, having lunch, like a good family, and all of a sudden, the water heater exploded. A bunch of hot-ass water flew everywhere, and the water heater is near the table where we eat, so we all got wet and we were so confused because we didn't really expect the water heater to explode in the middle of our lunch. The food got wet, we got wet, the water was very hot. It was so confusing. I like yelled for my life and then I was like, okay, uh, chill. It was a little bit scary, but now I'm laughing about it because I cannot believe the fucking water heater blew up. Two minutes, Felix. Two minutes. So are they alive in there? Uh, alive, you know what I mean. Two minutes! Okay, it's very cold here. Look, what have they used to take out Omaha? There's more of it. Huck, you copy? Huck. <gasps> we should go. Be safe. Should really go check out my lab. No, it's, it's, it's fine. It, all the labs are run by backup generators. It's better if I show you. To the lab? Uh, right now? Okay. Ah! Well, if she's on our side, we can save Felix. It's no use, Felix. Okay, forget about it. You can't just walk away. Not for me. Huh? You've asked if I had a family before all this. And I barely said a word. I experimented on them. But you've gotten so sick so fast. You loved her so much. And so she bit him. His neck almost chewed through. And Mia had changed. I just kept them there. And I did everything I could to fix them. They were already dead, though. I horrible things. Uh... Whatever I could think of to try to bring my husband and baby girl back. Neck almost all the way chewed through. He was very much dead. <laughs> God damn it. Come on, let's go. Oh. You okay? What the hell happened to you? Huh? I thought that you were. The walls must have interfered with the car. There's a hell of a lot more of it. <sighs> so, what are we supposed to do with it? It's supposed to. It's supposed to be refrigerated, though. I don't know how this is going to end. For whatever it's worth, I am with you. I'm very scared of Jadis. You never talked about what I did to get into the Civic Republic? Six years ago now. I know you were uh -huh, rescued. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So you were ambitious, even as a survivor. I was. Tell me about Rick. I lost them because I made the wrong alliances. Sorry. And I created a ticket to get into the Civic Republic. I gave the CRM something very valuable. 
and I got a new life. I know that the Civic Republic is the last light of the world. My purpose is to create a new era on this planet. Your mother asked me to keep an eye on you while I was here. It was couched as a mother's worry, but I wonder if you were one of them, it'd be easy. I could help you prove that you're still you. Where the fuck is Rick? And you could Are we praying? Uh, my baby. It's come so a long how's this going to work way. Exactly? Weird. This is very weird. I am all for the weird and the witchy and the hippie. But even this is too weird for me. A little bit too weird for me. Oh my god! Oh, that good luck did not find its way. It did not. Now they started war. Oh my god. Shit's hitting the fan! Alright, shit's hitting the fan. Everything's getting so good, but I gotta go. Thank you for watching this episode with me, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man.